Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to adding patterns and special effects to your t-shirts here in Easy View Online Designer. I'm Dave here with Transfer Express, and I wish, I, oh, I wish that I had known about screen printed transfers back when I first started screen printing. It was just such a, uh, it was a process. It was a huge learning curve, and I wasted so much time and money trying to get retail ready results. Had I known that I could just buy a heat press and some screen printed transfers and get the same retail ready quality with Plastisol inks right out of the bat, man, I would have done it. But <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, from screen printing in my basement, in my garage, to working at multi-million dollar print shops and custom print shops, uh, and working with decorators like you guys. I love hearing from you guys and hearing not only your successes and your, you know, uh, your, your big wins, but also hearing your challenges and how we could help you guys and use the resources that we have to help you guys have a more successful business. I want to welcome you guys to the Adding Patterns and Special Effects to your T-shirts webinar. We're going to be talking about how you could add all of these cool patterns and effects using our free EasyView online designer at TransferExpress.com uh, to add these to your art. Now, we all of the examples we're going to talk about today involve the Easy Prints artwork, which is our huge catalog, thousands and thousands of pre-made customizable layouts and clip art that you could use for absolutely free. You could use it for yourself. You could use it for your customers. Uh, it is just an awesome catalog. I come from a graphic design background, how I originally got into the printing industry. Uh, and I will say that it's so much easier to go into Easy View or browse the Easy Prints catalog that's included in the marketing kit and just find some layouts. And uh, I mean, the majority of what I get asked to do for t-shirts these days are just some curved text, maybe a piece of clip art or something. And setting that all up in Adobe Illustrator, which is my weapon of choice typically, uh, would take maybe 20 minutes, which is still pretty quick. Uh, but I could do that same kind of workflow in Easy View in just a matter of minutes. Like I'm talking a minute or two. And if you've attended any of our other webinars, you could see, you know how fast it all comes together in Easy View. Just by choosing a layout and browsing things with your customer, you get a way better idea very quickly. Uh, and time is money in any business, especially this one. So you could improve your profitability by creating this artwork for your customers faster. And it's just an awesome, powerful tool. That's Easy View Online Designer. If you guys haven't played with it, uh, play with it uh, as go and play with it. You'll see after this webinar. Uh, Tim says he's not seeing any video. We don't, we're not going to be doing any video today. It's all in the slides. And then if we have time, uh, I do want to jump over and live demo the Easy View Online Designer. Uh, sometimes we've played with having the video in like a little picture in picture, but then it's just me talking and really a lot of the content we put in these slides here for you guys. So uh, everything's going to be in the slides. And like I said, if we have time, uh, we'll jump on over and get into easy view. I think we're going to have time. So let's jump into our agenda, what we're going to be covering all here today. So what patterns can be added? There's a huge catalog, 50 plus patterns that you could use from full color to uh, customizable and single color clip art. So regardless of what transfer type you're using, you're going to be able to use these. We're going to talk about how you could add those patterns. Now, of course, this is an easy view online designer using the easy prints artwork. But if you have print ready vector artwork, uh, like a PDF, AI file, SVG, you could import that into easy view and apply these same patterns to it. Uh, which is a really, really cool feature because some of these patterns are a little bit hard to build in Illustrator, if I'm being honest, as swatches uh, to, to put in. So it's way easier to just use these. If you say you like this paint swirl pattern that's on this wine therapy shirt and you want to use it, you could have that artwork that you already designed in Illustrator and bring it on over into Easy View Online Designer and bam, you're set, ready to go. Uh, and it's and it's good to go. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about distressing. You could add these awesome distressing patterns to almost any file you put into Easy View Online Designer or the Easy Prints artwork, the layouts, the clip art, anything in there. And then you could also remove it. So if you want certain elements to be distressed or not distressed, you could edit that all you all, all you want. Um, and then we're also going to talk about what product to use. So what transfer type is going to be best for what you're going to choose. And then uh, as a little bonus, we're going to talk about t-shirt confetti. And like I mentioned, uh, I think we should have time. Uh, but if we have time, I'm going to jump over to Easy View Online Designer and show you real live time how to add these effects, how to add the uh, patterns, how to change the colors on the patterns, how to get different pattern selections based on what transfer type you have. And then even with the uh, distressing, we could add distressing, remove distressing from certain elements, and you could play with that um, at your own leisure. As we go along, feel free to design along with us uh, at just at transferexpress.com. All you need is a uh, all you need is a transfer express account in here. 
Um, Lori, uh, all of this will be uh, screen print and digital products. So we're going to talk about a majority. I'm going to talk about screen printing, but there are some really cool patterns and effects that you could only get with our full color transfers. Um, and really what's great about the full color transfers too is when we talk about Ultra Color Max, that super low minimum order quantity. So you could order just one. There's just a $25 order minimum. Uh, and you could order a gang sheet up to 22 by 22 inches, which is tw uh, 29 bucks, I think, uh, just off the top of my head. And so you could get tons of artwork to try out to, uh, you know, pitch to customers or even just test some samples to promote on social media to try to sell uh, all with just a $29 investment into printing. Uh, and then, of course, apparel on top of that. But that is really, really cool and really, really powerful for any small business uh, to be able to have that. So let's dive right in here, too. Did I mention T-shirt confetti? It's going to be really cool. Little tip at the end that we could do. And that is with screen printed stuff in there. Um, Tony, trying to do DTF full color transfers. Yes, our Ultra Color Max are DTF transfers. And that's direct to film for anybody out there who's wondering what DTF means. And essentially, it is the same technology that went to direct to garment, uh, but instead goes to film and then to be heat applied. You get a little bit higher pr print resolution. And you could apply on a wider variety of substrates where direct to garment has traditionally been limited to 100% cotton. You could do cotton, cotton poly blends, tri blends. There's a ton of stuff that you could do with DTF transfers. So let's talk about patterns here. I'm just going to get a quick drink of water. And if I'm talking too fast, ask questions in there. That's what Mike's doing behind the scenes. And then so he's able to answer the questions if I can't get to them. Like I said, I have a I have a tendency to go over the time limit on these things here. Uh, so I just want to make sure I try to stay as focused as I can to the material here to cover everything because this is so information packed. And we've even got some awesome inspiration in here as well that you guys could kind of pull from as well for your own projects. So here in front of us is a, uh, I would say, a fraction of the patterns that are available in Easy View Online Designer. Now, you could add these to orders that you need them. Uh, you could save them in Easy View Online Designer. And unlike vinyl, uh, you don't have to you don't have to buy an expensive roll of pattern vinyl to do something like this uh, and then just have it sit on your shelf for years and years and years because you're never going to end up using it again. These are customizable, too. So if you like a pattern of one, but you say, you know what, I don't like that pink color. A lot of times you could go in there and change it like the paint swirls, the pride stripe, all of that first row on the left hand side are all screen printed patterns that you could use. So all of those patterns, you could actually go in and change the colors in all of them. So uh, when we get to easy view, I'll show you exactly the, the process of that. And we have it a little bit in uh, the presentation here as well. Like I was talking about the minimum orders here now for ultra color max one is enough that's the that's the bottom of the barrel that's that's the minimum order quantity you could order just one if you wanted to it is going to be 25 dollars. so we recommend you fill up as much as you can on the sheet until you cross that 25 dollars threshold and just maximize your printing power you get everything you need all on one sheet now our minimum order for screen printed ultra color soft and our ultra color pro oops ultra color pro transfers which are going to be a brand new full color transfer type that's releasing soon you guys get the uh, get the uh, new information first, uh, and so don't don't go spreading the word about that too yet. That's a little secret for you guys. Essentially, it's going to be Ultra Color Soft, but if you've used Ultra Color Soft, you know that it is a cold peel. <coughs> Excuse me, you know that it's going to be a cold peel transfer. So the Ultra Color Pro makes it a hot peel, effortless transfer. And if you've used our Ultra Color Max, the DTF transfer how buttery smooth it peels off that carrier hot as soon as the press opens, just so efficient and so quick, so easy to use. Ultra Color Pro is coming in to fit that gap for Ultra Color Soft. So it is also a little bit less expensive too. So it's gonna bring that, uh, that you know, that, that profitability uh, back into your larger runs of full color prints. Really, really cool and that's coming out soon. I don't wanna tell you an exact release date yet, but it's coming. So really, really excited about that. Like I mentioned, 50 plus choices, you get to choose the colors or colors if there's multiple colors in the design. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so just like this, that first row I mentioned is all of the screen printed transfers that you can change. Yes, Arlene, even better, less. It's gonna be less, <laughs> even better. That's, oh, and Arlene, yes, waiting on Hot Peel for Ultra Color Soft. This is the time to do it. Really, really excited. I've just started playing with it myself in the office here, um, and so, yeah, it, it's really, really cool coming out soon here. But 
Um, back to the patterns here. I don't want to get too distracted with the Ultra Color Pro. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little frog in my throat. But that middle row of patterns there are our full color transfers. There are full color patterns that you could use. You will have to have a full color print method selected. I'll show you when we go over to Easy View Online Designer. Uh, but the crystal facets, that water pattern, pastel gradients, the football texture, those gradients and fades, the full color patterns, have tons of detail and colors in them, those gradients that you can't easily reproduce with screen printed, which is why they are locked into the full color. My favorite down there at the bottom is the outer space pattern. It has this awesome, cool galaxy pattern in it, um, which you can see, I think we showed it on the title slide in that rocket ship. Just so super cool. Um, and that, yeah, that's 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 one of the full color ones. So you can't use that for screen printed transfers, but if you switch over to the uh, Ultra Color Max, or any of the ultra color lines, the full color transfers, you're able to use that pattern. Of course, uh, on the right hand side, a lot of just single color. So they show them in just black inks in Easy View Online Designer, but you could customize those to be any color you want. The tiger stripes, leopard, a little paw print pattern, the zebras, that tie dye pattern is really cool for, uh, it actually looks pretty tie dye. I know the little thumbnail here is pretty small, but you could customize those colors and change those colors as need be. And you could even combine it if you only want it to be, uh, you know, a one color tie dye with just that kind of fun swirl in it. You could change the other color to show through so you don't see it at all. Really, really cool to use uh, and really versatile. So uh, let's jump in and I'm going to show you some of these patterns in use, get you some inspiration of see how we could do it. There are just a few things that I want to mention, too, because uh, I typically whenever I'm using patterns on any element, especially text, I am outlining it. So that is another effect that you could use. And I'll show you an easy view online designer how you could add that effect as well. It's in the same edit menu and you're able to easily customize the even width and color of that outline, so the, like the stroke, if you're familiar with like Photoshop or Illustrator terms. I don't know exactly what they call it in Corel Draw, but you're able to uh, adjust the size of that as well. So really, really cool, super powerful. When I talk about easy view online designer being the most powerful online designer that I've seen uh, I mean, I've played with all of them. I am, like I said, I, I went to school for graphic design um, and I've played with a lot of design programs and online design programs and easy view uh, is by far the, the best and most powerful uh, in terms of getting close to Illustrator uh, for designing t-shirts. I absolutely love it. So here we see a awesome little baseball shirt here with the tiger pattern behind the tigers. Like I was mentioning, Look out for that outline, because there we have a white outline around that tiger font. Otherwise, it might be a little bit harder to read that text itself. So it's really, really awesome to have uh, that, that outline on there. And like I said, it's super easy to apply. So this, uh, you're going to see these codes in here. So Easy Prints Layout QBA 258. If you have our Easy Prints Idea Book available with the Marketing Kit at Transfer Express, uh, it has just pages and pages and pages of all of these different layouts. So you have this one, QBA 258, they're all coded. So when you go into Easy View Online Designer, you could search by layout, just type in QBA 258. You don't have to search in baseball or, uh, you know, varsity baseball or whatever this layout has in it. <coughs> you don't have to pull any of that up. It's all available just by searching that code. It also, when you're pitching it to customers, it really makes it feel like it's your own catalog of artwork. Because if they just go to Google and type in QBA 258, nothing's coming up. You have to go into Easy View Online Designer. Mario right there knows how the idea book helps you as a small business. Uh, if you're, especially if you are a custom decorator and you're going out and trying to pitch school districts or businesses in your local community, even for specific sports, it's so easy to just go through and flip into those pages pull it out and just browse it with your customer. And then you're cutting the design time down by, I mean, hours. Because sometimes you have to go back with revisions, but they say, man, that one right there, I really like it. With the idea book that comes with the marketing kit uh, from transferexpress.com, it's actually customized to your business name and all of the Transfer Express branding is completely hidden. So it looks like it's your own custom catalog of artwork for your customers. And it's just super powerful for you to be able to pitch that uh, artwork. And then you could close sales super, super easily with just Easy View Online Designer. It's such an awesome tool. This one here is a two color goof proof that we're looking at here is that orange and white. It's using the tiger stripe pattern that we were talking about. Uh, and this is just how easy it is to use them. So let's look at another example here. This one is one of my favorites, not just because I'm a Cleveland Browns fan, but 
This also is completely avoiding any licensing with the NFL or the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland tailgating, bad to the bone, an awesome diamond plate pattern right there in the uh, state shape in the back. The Browns orange on a Browns hoodie, or on a brown hoodie. That's weird, Browns orange, brown hoodie. Because, well, we know them as the Browns, but their colors are orange and brown. <laughs> so we have our uh, our white and orange print on this one as well, but really an awesome athletic print. It's going to look great wear into the stadium or the parking lot where we um, get into, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, um, where we get into tailgating. So this one in that diamond plate pattern in the background, nice and subtle, mate, gives it this extra little something instead of just that big blocky look. Now, I love these show through patterns too, because with any print, regardless of the print method you're doing, except sublimation, but any screen printing, a big, huge 11 by 11 block of ink is going to be heavy on the shirt. And just being able to put that diamond plate pattern in there gives it so much more breathability and makes that print nice and light and comfortable to wear. Now on a hoodie, you're not gonna feel any print too much through it, uh, but with this one, it's gonna be light and, and just on there great. When we talk about ink types and we're talking about goof proof, goof, goof proof it feels like a soft hand screen print off the bat. And so this right here would be a super soft print, even though it's taking up so much area on the front of the shirt. Really, really cool. Um, let's see. Melissa says, uh, this might be a silly question, but I'm not sure when to use ultra color. I stick to the screen print transfers. I watched a few YouTube videos and they were good, uh, but I'm still not sure. Any suggestions to make the effort for ultra color? So uh, Melissa, really, when we're talking three plus four plus, Mike just answered in there <laughs> and Mario jumped in there too. Uh, just three plus colors in your design is really when it makes sense to switch over to the ultra color just for cost savings and uh, being able to protect your profit margin. That's a big aspect of running a successful business. Uh, and when you get to four or five color screen prints, it could get quite expensive and some customers get shocked by that price and will turn them away. Uh, but with the ultra color, you're able to uh, print pretty much anything you want, full color gradients. If you're doing any photo realism, you absolutely could switch over to that. Patty loves the Ultra Color Max because it's so soft and light. I love it too. It is super soft and light and it's a hot peel. So it's just such a quick, easy application. But that Ultra Color Pro that I teased a little bit earlier is coming after that. Now the Ultra Color Max is priced per square inch. So uh, I don't want to get too off track and too confusing here for you. But the Ultra Color Max is really great for small quantity orders. Anything under like that 18 quantity uh, or if you just need like super tiny images. <clears throat> super tiny images, um, you could absolutely uh, use the Ultra Color Max. That's great because it's priced per square inch. So when you just have a little, uh, say, four inch by one inch graphic, you could print like a hundred of them before you get to that 25, uh, that 25 uh, minimum order value. So the $25 that you have to get to push one of those Ultra Color Max orders through. But with the Ultra Color Soft, it is available on a gang sheet. You can't buy single images. But uh, the quantity breaks. It starts breaking at quantity, where Ultra Color Max is just set at that six cents per square inch. The quantity breaks you really get into with the Ultra Color Max so when, or Ultra Color Soft or Pro. And so at those higher quantities, you really could build super amounts of profitability into these runs. Uh, yeah, right there. That looks great. Everybody else jumping in. We we know where it is. Uh, Sandra, of course, there's going to be a replay on our YouTube. We're going to email you out uh, probably tomorrow as well with the full replay. And then if you're subscribed to our YouTube, you'll see it uh, next week. Our next one here, using this basket weave, another goof proof print, but this time in a single color. Now, a big aspect of this one too, again, look at that outline on the K. You're going to break up that K shape and you're not going to be able to, to really make it out without that outline on it. So it's just super easy to just throw an outline on that shape box in that basket weave pattern for that awesome texture within that K. Again, with how big this print is, you could see that uh, if that K was filled in, it might feel a little heavy on, say, like a lighter shirt. This looks like it's 100% polyester or at least like a polyester dominant, maybe a 60-40 or something. And uh, it would feel a little bit heavier on that lighter shirt. So using this pattern is a great way to break up huge solid areas to make it a super comfortable and lightweight, uh, you know, 
feel to any graphic on the shirt. This is using navy on like this gold shirt uh, and looks awesome. So something as simple as this or as complex as some of the last examples that we've seen is a great use of these patterns. Now, this is when we're getting into full color patterns. This 90s pattern is a full color pattern. I believe it has seven or eight colors in it. So it is a little, uh, you know, it would be a little expensive to print with a screen printed transfer. And that's when you're going to want to switch over to the Ultra Color Max, Ultra Color Soft, or again, that tease for the Ultra Color Pro. This is using that 90s notebook pattern, and I love it. Retro is really coming back, um, and if it's not like the 70s retro style this year, it definitely is the 90s. We've seen a lot of like flannel patterns and stuff come back uh, in all types of clothing, and these, even like the that jazz pattern that was on those old cups from the 90s, if you guys remember that, that's coming back as well. And it's like sometimes in an ironic way and sometimes in like a high fashion way. So you'll see a lot of streetwear brands bringing back 90s fashions or iconography. And I'm all down with it. I'm down with the nostalgia for the 90s. I am an elder millennial, as I guess they would classify me. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's really cool to see some of that aesthetic come, come back from the childhood. Um, and I think it's only growing in popularity as this year goes on. But like any trend, uh, you know, you got to jump on the jump on the bus early because then it starts to fade out fairly quickly. Um, Jenna just used it in a recent order and loved how it came out. Awesome. I love how it comes out on almost anything you could put it on. So I'm so happy for you. That's great to hear. Um, here, this is using the layout QAL 620. So like I was talking about that idea, idea book and the Easy Prints catalog, all of this is searchable in the online designer. And you could pull this layout up and just with a couple double clicks, you could add the pattern, you could change the text. If you even want it to say like 2000s party, uh, you could easily just go in there and edit that text. It's so super easy, but this is a great use of, a, of one of those full color transfer uh, patterns. Another one here, Autism Awareness Month, uh, the Fight for Autism Walk, and this Autism Puzzle Pattern. So you don't have to apply it to anything. And this is something where like Ultra Color Max really, really shines. You have all of these different colors in not only the pattern, but you're able to change the, the color of each one of those letters and have the, uh, the, the wide range of printing capabilities. Uh, all four, say you just needed six of these shirts, it probably wouldn't be more than $25 to get six of these graphics on there. Say that's like nine inches wide or something by five, six inches high. Um, yeah, probably right around that $25 mark for four, five, six quantity. Of course, you could always go in Easy View Online Designer and size your artwork using the edit menu. And you'll see live pricing based on your quantity at the bottom. And you'll see your turn time too. That's what I love about Easy View. It's not just a powerful design tool, but it's great for quoting and accurate turn time. So you know when your order is going to ship. There's no guessing. It's not like, oh, like, yeah, we'll get it in a week or it's going to ship out in five days. We'll tell you the exact day that it's going to ship out. So it's really, really cool uh, to be able to use that in there. And that, again, let's take a look at that pattern. It is outlined. Now, on a dark shirt like this, that autism puzzle pattern, I'm sure would look absolutely fine uh, with without the outline. But again, to really emphasize that border, putting that outline in there makes it so super easy uh, for you to be able to uh, really read it and give it that readability. Um, Patty, the Ultra Color Pro will absolutely have gang sheets. It's gonna be available exclusively on the gang sheets, uh, exactly how Ultra Color Soft is now. So essentially, uh, pretty much exactly how you look at Ultra Color Soft, it's just going to be a easier application, a hot peel, uh, and a little bit cheaper. So uh, it has to do with the carrier that it comes on, and there's a little bit more science behind it in the inks uh, that I, it's a little bit over my head <laughs> in terms of uh, technology on it, but it is just the latest evolution of the product line. Because that's one thing that, I mean, we, we listen to you guys. Uh, if you're ever running into issues or have ideas, please share them with us because we listen to you guys. If you're not already a member of the Easy Prints Dealers Group on Facebook, uh, it is just an awesome forum of a whole bunch of people using screen printed transfers uh, and our digital transfers as well. Uh, they share their products or if they're running into specific issues, I'm printing on this 100% polyester hoodie that I've never printed on. Guys, has anybody printed on this and had good success or uh, anything like that. So if you're if you're a customer of Transfer Express, head on over to Facebook. It's called Easy Prints Dealers. Uh, it's a group on Facebook and it's private, so it's locked down. Um, and we listen to you guys in there. So 
uh, you know, when people say, man, I love ultra color soft, love the feel of it, love the, the capabilities of printing all of these uh, colors on one gang sheet and it's profitable for my business, but man, I just hate that cold peel. We listen and we're trying to evolve the products to help you guys out. And so you could profit more and have a successful t-shirt business. That's what we are for. That's what we are all dedicated to here at Transfer Express is helping you and your business. So any ideas or, uh, you know, like I'm talking about when we're at trade shows, talking to people, the struggles and the successes, we listen to that and we try to tailor solutions to help you out. So please, if you haven't joined that that uh, that community over there on Facebook, Easy Prince Dealers, uh, do it. Here's another one. Just a little subtle, subtle use of this plaid pattern for this ski club using the layout CP2 using Ultra Color Pro. This is one of the first uses that I've seen of the Ultra Color Pro. Looks and feels very, very similar to the Ultra Color Soft, but with that hot peel. Again, it applies to cotton, polyester, cotton poly blends, and even tri blends. Uh, for any spandex or lycra, that's what we have the Ultra Color Stretch for, which Ultra Color Stretch is just that specialty product for the very, very uh, stretchy fabrics. That spandex, lycra, the super sensitive synthetic fibers we'll say that uh that are great for specific purposes but very i mean traditionally very hard to decorate even with traditional screen printing because you just can't get the dryer low enough so that the inks cure so that's what those uh that product line has been specifically designed to do but primarily you're just going to be focused on soft and ultra color max and when pro comes out you might forget about soft <laughs> that's that's just from uh that's from dave's point of view here so this is how you're going to be able to add patterns to pretty much anything. It's the same way. Uh, you could add it just specifically to text, like we showed you in a few of the examples back here, uh, from text to shapes uh, to clip art. You could add it to all of that. So pretty much you would just select add text in the blue bar on the left-hand side. Yes, still a secret, still a secret. Shh. <laughs> you guys are trying to jump the gun. I love it. I love it. I do, uh, with the testing that I've done on the product, I am so super excited about it. It's really going to change uh, the way that people look at Ultra Color Soft, I think, because it is so easy to apply. And the same with Max. That's really what I really love about Ultra Color Max is that you have that full color transfer that's an effortless hot peel. It's going to be the same exact way, but a lot more profitability at higher quantities with the Ultra Color Pro. So it's coming soon. Just stay, uh, stay in the know. Uh, and when you guys will be the first, I mean, you guys are the first to know that it's even coming now. Uh, but if you just stay, uh, stay up to date on our social media, uh, we'll be announcing when it's going to be released. It's probably going to be soon too, uh, within maybe the next month or so. Uh, so, so keep an eye out for that. So, uh, we would add text here and then we would go down in the edit menu, uh, and add pattern, uh, and then select a pattern and then if desired to add that outline. So you could see the two examples there, what I've been kind of talking about through our past few examples, that you can still make out the text. It just makes it way more prominent and really helps the readability when you throw an outline onto it. Uh, this is the Awareness Paisley, which is one of the screen printed patterns that you could use. So regardless if it's for breast cancer awareness or uh, other kinds of cancer awareness, or even uh, firefighters, EMS, anything with the ribbon. It's a really cool paisley pattern with the uh, with the the ribbon inside of it. So you could change the color depending on uh, what cause that you are printing for. Um, Sherry, of course, you could use your own design with ultra color. Uh, like I mentioned, you could add a uh, you could add your own artwork, raster, vector format. It doesn't really matter. Or you could design online, or you could customize the layouts online, or build your own designs using text, just like this example that we have on screen here. Uh, and like a lot of designs are text only. There's over, I think, 250 or 30, uh, 250 or 300 different fonts in there that you could browse and choose from. Uh, and they're all categorized based on decorative or script or serif fonts, athletic fonts. So you could go in there and you could even design direct in there. <coughs> See another question about the vintage distress look. It is see-through. So uh, it is going to knock the ink out. And so that you do have a show through area when your transfers arrive. It's very cool and light. And we're going to get to that in just a second. I don't want to get too far ahead of the slides, but I'll show you that in easy view online designer as well. So the same adding patterns to clip art. Um, you select your clip art. 
The simpler shapes do work the best, the bigger, bolder areas, especially in more complex patterns. Here's this fun tie-dye pattern that I was talking about in three colors. But of course, if you just wanted to make it like alternating purple and white or something, you absolutely could go in there and change those colors in Easy View Online Designer. You could see here too uh, in this, this view that uh, on the bottom left uh, of that Easy View panel, you see that there's a purple, a blue, uh, or cyan, and a yellow swatch. So all three of those um, are the, pat the colors that are in the pattern there. So you could just click on them and change them with the, this menu here that says replace color. This is what uh, you would be in the process of doing, changing that cyan color to whatever color you want. Uh, and I'll show you when we jump over to Easy View Online Designer. Now, the one thing that you have to do is uh, you have to ungroup the artwork, which is why I include this little alert right there. So if you don't have the uh, if you don't have the object ungrouped, because sometimes these uh, patterns or the shapes are built quite complexly. So uh, it's different shapes grouped together to make a final image. Uh, and you'll see that with the example that I have planned to show you in easy view. Uh, and so you just want to make sure that you're only grabbing one of those shapes so you can apply a pattern to it. Uh, and then like this one has an outline on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, uh, you could select the pattern, select the colors, which what we're doing right here, and then select the color for your outline or even adjust the thickness. Really, really cool in there. Um, Pam asked how you could adjust the amount of distress to apply. So uh, we're going to get to the distressing here in just a second, but there is a, you can't necessarily, uh, there's a few different distressing patterns to use, which I could show you, uh, but you could also select different elements. So like if the distressing, if all of the distressing options are really blowing out text and you can't read it, you could select the text and not apply the uh, distressing to the text. So it is much easier to read, especially with finer text. That's that's really, really important. Now we get to the distressing. So the same way that we are adding patterns, distressing is just two options down from patterns there in the edit menu. So all you have to do is add the distressing and then you could choose one of the five or six different distressing patterns that are in there. <clears throat> and you're all set ready to go. And it looks great. It does knock it out uh, in the designer. It does kind of just grab the background color. So it might want it to be the pattern. You could just keep it as the pattern no need to put the outline on it at all. So really, really cool. Um, yes, and Melissa, I feel like hours and hours in the designer, I feel like I'm ready to take a test and graduate. We should um, we should totally put a little easy view test and have people run through the pace. And if you pass, we'll send you like a uh, a cool little prize or something. I think <laughs> I think that would be great. Love the idea of that. But I, I, it, it, Melissa, you probably could attest to just how powerful of a designer it truly is um, that you could get in there. Um, Patty, the, uh, all the patterns are auto adjusted in there. Uh, so you don't really have to worry about, um, you don't, you can't really resize them all too much in there, <clears throat> but it's awesome. I'm glad you like easy view online designer as a designer. I was a little weary of it at first, but then when you really start playing with it, it is just so super powerful and time saving that you have to love it. I just absolutely love it now. So this is another example of what I was talking about, about removing the distressing. So uh, you, as much as you could add the distressing, you could also remove from certain elements on the design as well. So like here, if you don't want that panther or even like that small text of stay hungry, depending on what distressing texture you have, uh, you don't have to uh, have the distressing on that. So all you would do is select the object, click on the distressing pattern, like you're adding another pattern. and then uh, just clear that selection. Um, Cassidy had a great question in there. I'm trying to find it. So many things came in quick. Um, can you upload your own design with different distressing? You absolutely can. And that's a hack that we've seen several times. Uh, and a lot of customers actually use it all the time, where if you have your own distressing pattern that you absolutely love, you could import it in as a vector object. I'm going to say it, it should absolutely be vector because then you could get a little bit more, uh, resize capabilities with it and it's much easier to to use then just set that pattern on top using the arrange commands so you see on that blue bar at the top of the designer screen there uh the arrange you could set something on top 
and then just click show through as the ink. So it's going to knock out any areas that are underneath it and it makes it super awesome to be able to add your own distressing. I'm glad you brought that up because we didn't put this in this presentation, but see, that's why I love the community of heat printers here uh, that we're, everybody is so willing to share ideas. And just like that, uh, that was that was great. Uh, you know, that, that came up. Cassidy, uh, if, if it might, it may have been too fine of detail, uh, for the transfer type that you selected, uh, they should have given you an ex explanation that was more than, uh, just a, you know, it's not going to work. Uh, but, oh, vector there. Yes. Yes. Uh, imported as a vector instead of a raster object, that's definitely going to make it. Cause if it's raster, if it's like say white and black, the white is always still going to be white and it's just going to cover up the design. But if it's vector, it's just like a black uh, little kind of paint splatter or something. And you want to pop that over top. You absolutely could do that as well. We've also seen people use the clip art. That is the like some paint splatters and stuff. There's some paint splatters and splashes and kind of like half tones uh, that are in the clip art. If you just search those. So you could actually take those uh, and use them as kind of like a, I don't want to say bootleg because it's not necessarily bootleg, but it is a form of distressing that you could kind of, it's like custom distressing and not using distressing feature in here. Um, so yeah, absolutely. You guys could add your own, uh, but here, yeah. So all you'd have to do is select it. If you don't want the Panther to be distressed, select the Panther, go back into the distressing menu and then easily just click clear from selection. It's going to clear the distressing from the selection. Uh, and then, so you are set and you could put, uh, you know, whatever, whatever text, whatever images as distressed and non-distressed in here. The bonus tip that we needed to include about patterns and effects is confetti. Now, this is not one that we do online in the Easy View Online Designer before we order transfers, but it's something that you could do with maybe some old transfers that have been laying around that you're not using anymore. Uh, it's great when you use some different colors as well, uh, or even like a two color screen print here with the, the Cleveland at the top. There's some white flecks in the confetti. So essentially what it is, is you take your old gang sheets or screen printed transfers and just scrape it off using scissors or a credit card edge. And then you, I put them in like a little cup or a little jar so you could store them. And then you just sprinkle them around. It works best with goof proof or hot split transfers. And then you apply them like hot split uh, with a super firm pressure. Just make sure that you are covering the existing design. Uh, and covering all of those little specs when you do apply with just a paper cover sheet. No need to use Teflon or any of those uh, fancy textured cover sheets, just a regular craft paper or even parchment paper. Put right on over top, press it with a firm pressure, and it adds this awesome organic texture. What's really cool about it is that you could see, um, you could kind of sprinkle it around and it's not set until you heat apply it. So if you don't like, uh, if you maybe messed up and put too much in one area, you could spread it around and make it look exactly how you want it to look before you press it. But it's just a super cool trend that we saw come out. And there's actually people who just sell like the, the screen printed plastisol inks all chipped up and blended up. Uh, you could people put them in like coffee grinders to grind them up into smaller pieces. I've had no problem just cutting up the larger pieces or if you just take care to uh, when you're scraping it off that carrier, the paper carrier sheet from your gang sheet, uh, if you just scrape off little bits at a time, it comes off super easy. Pour it into a little cup or jar, like I mentioned, and then sprinkle it as needed. It's just a uh, another one of those cool textures that you could add, like how people are doing a lot of the bleached T-shirts um, or like even like the, the DIY tie dye or like the ice dye to add an actual like texture to the garment super super popular right now um and the same here with the the screen printed confetti uh so you could go ahead and buy it if you need that um <laughs> if you want to go ahead and buy the confetti offline you can but if you have some extra gang sheets laying around it's completely free for you to just scrape off some of that ink um janelle we actually uh we should do a full class on screen print confetti because it's super cool uh but we actually have a video on our youtube channel if you just go uh, i'm pretty sure if you just go to youtube and type in screen print confetti our video is probably going to be one of the ones to come up or just search us transfer express and then search our channel screen print confetti. Uh, and I did a whole video on it. It's me, Dave in the video. Uh, and we go through and scrape off some stuff in the, uh, off a gang sheet and show you how to apply it. But we found that 365 for about 10 seconds with a firm pressure uh, works just the best. And it stays on there. It washes just regularly like the goof proof. And I always say that goof proof uh, washes, wears, looks, and feels exactly like a real screen print right onto the garment. Um, so uh, before we go any further, let's jump on over to EasyView Online Designer. And I want to show you some of these uh, 
some of these kind of features and stuff that I that we talked about in this webinar uh, put to use in live practice. And if you guys have any questions, uh, let us know. Uh, I lose the chat screen when I switch over screens here for a second, but I'll try to pull it back up uh, so I can answer any specific questions. And if I end up going too quick, there, Mike jumped in and shot a link to the confetti video if you guys are interested. In there, so let's head on over. But I'm going to lose the chat for just a little bit. But I'm going to try to pull it back up uh, so that we could, uh, you guys could, could help. Uh, let me know if I'm going too fast or anything with all of these patterns. So, if you have never seen Easy View Online Designer, this is what it looks like. You have a tons of controls here on the left hand side. This is the add menu. I like to call it add text, add clip art, layout, upload. If you're uploading your own artwork, this is where you would upload it. So any of these file types are allowed. PDF, JPEG. PNG, TIFFs, bitmaps, PSDs, SVGs, all of this stuff in here. You know, Patty, I, I saw your comment in here, uh, and and Mike kills it every single time. He's always great. Fast fingers, Mike, we call him, uh, because he gets those links in there so quick. Uh, Joan, uh, you got to try the confetti. It's super fun, adds a nice little texture, and it usually... It costs you absolutely nothing but a couple minutes of your time scraping the ink off one of your old transfer sheets. You already have it laying around in your shop. You might It might be an old job that you're never going to use again. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Just scrape it off, cut it up, chop it up, uh, mince it up if you're a chef, and then you get it going. Patty, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoy these webinars a lot talking to you guys. Um, and uh, I, I love helping you guys out. So uh, let's get into easy view here. Um, and yeah, not not talking about me, but this is all these layouts that we're talking about. So before we jump into the patterns too much, let's talk about that that the distressing um, because this is one uh, that would work great with the distressing. So here uh, you have your edit menu. So whenever you have anything selected, of course you could collapse this all by clicking that little button in the bottom left hand corner right here. Uh, and so you have a little bit larger design area. But I like. Uh, having the edit menu on the side, it just makes it super easy to have. So when you have anything selected, you'll have your edit menu here on the side. You see patterns here. This is where we would add our patterns, those outlines that I was talking about right here as well, and then distressing right here. So we could just say, let's add a distressing pattern. Here's our options for distressing. And so something like this, uh, you know, maybe is a little too large uh, for some of this small text in here. So one way that, you know, you'd say, this is great. This is cool. Um, and if you never played an easy view, this is how easy it is. Like, I'm literally just going to double click here and we'll just change this to Dave. I'm going to be a race car driver today. I went go-karting over the weekend, man, and it was fun. I haven't been go-karting in a long time. So this is perfect. This is exactly how I feel and maybe how I'm talking to, if you guys think I'm talking too fast, <laughs> it's not a race. It's not a race, Dave, a race against the clock, I guess we could say. But, um, so here, this text here is a little bit too chopped up by this distressing pattern. Let's see if we can find one that's going to really kind of blow up the distressing a little bit more. So, um, let's see, let's, let's cycle through these. You can see how they look, but this one's a cool little, like kind of, uh, this nice kind of splatter cut, uh, like an old floor, but you can see that it maybe cuts up this, this too. Oh, and the E, this is perfect. Perfect use for what I was talking about. So it cuts this E off Dave. So it just looks like DAV or how they spell it on the Starbucks cup. When I go to Starbucks and say, my name's Dave and they're like, okay, no E. All you have to do is select that object. We'll select this one too. So I'm just gonna hold shift as I select both of these. So we have the 24 and Dave selected and we'll click on the distressing and say clear from selection. So just like that, it clears off the 24 and Dave. So we have the distressing only on these other elements. Maybe this motorsports too, getting cut out and we'll click this one here. You could clear it from selection so that it no longer has that distressing on it, but you're still able to use that awesome, cool pattern right there on the other elements of the sheet. Even this text where it, it kind of, it, it does break some, some, uh, some boundaries here, but you could still clearly read what the name is that you could leave it on there. Um, let's go ahead and just go through and cycle through some more of these patterns so I could show you what they look like. So you can see that they change. That was one that we already had selected. This one, that 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 kind of vintage crackle texture. Now that would look great for everything. So you could apply to all or clear it all. So if you say you don't like it, like, eh, eh, don't need it, you could just clear distressing and pull it back. But that one, yeah, if you really wanted to kind of, this has that, that kind of vintage vibe that we've been talking about uh, and make it look like a nice vintage shirt, just like that, all set. So that's one thing too, that you see this pattern is sideways. Um, and look what happens when we rotate it here, whoop, that now it is vertical on the design. So just on our gang sheet, 
which is what we have selected. We have screen print, goof proof inks right here. And this dotted line is our gang sheet. So uh, if we wanted it to be vertical instead of horizontal, just like that, we could rotate the design and edit that in there. So I'm just going to click uh, undo right here at the top and switch it back sideways. So we have it horizontally. Look, looks awesome. Really, really cool. So uh, that's pretty much it with the distressing. Do you guys have... Um, yeah, distressing with Ultra Color Max is going to be a little tricky sometimes because uh, some of that fine detail will show up in the heat map that you guys are talking about in there. Um, so that's going to be a, a little bit of a problem sometimes when you're using Ultra Color Max. Now with Ultra Color Soft or, or Pro, there is a slight clear outline on it. So that's going to fill those areas and you could get a little bit finer detail uh, and smaller areas because it's not just going to be trapped behind the inks, the adhesive is not just going to be behind the inks like it is with Ultra Color Max. So with each, they have their own cool capabilities, uh, but they kind of have their own limitations as well. So here, I'm just going to click the trash can. We're going to get rid of this one. Let's talk about patterns. So uh, talking back to the shifting back to patterns here, I uh, typed in wine into our clip art catalog, but you can see there's just tons of stuff all in this clip art catalog uh, that you could go through every every kind of animal imaginable from mascots to zoo animals, or even like this guy, a nice little like eagle on the heart, real kind of cool tattoo style. Um, all of that's right here. Or of course you could search anything you want, turkey. So if we search wine, just type it up in the top search bar and you see all of this clip art available. I mean, this is gonna go on and on from full color stuff uh, to uh, all of this other stuff here. Uh, so let's say we'll just grab this wine glass right here. Now, if we immediately go and try to add a pattern fill, it's going to say not allowed on a group. We need to ungroup. So right here uh, in this top menu, we'll just go object ungroup. And sometimes multiple items are grouped in there as well. But once you go and you could click on object ungroup and there is no more ungrouping, you know that you could select this and now add a pattern to it. So uh, it's really cool. We just actually this week went in and added all of the shortcuts for all of this stuff. So shift and page up, page down, or control D to duplicate, control U to ungroup, control G to group, uh, to just help your workflow move faster. And when you start using keyboard shortcuts, man, do your customers look at you and go, this dude's a pro. Oh, and if you want to use Easy View Online Designer in front of your customers and you don't want them to see Transfer Express up here, up in the settings menu, just click on over to customer mode. It's going to hide all the pricing and everything at the bottom of your screen, uh, and it's going to hide the Transfer Express branding so they don't know where this is. And if you go full screen, I can't go full screen because I'm presenting. You could even hide the URL here. So you just have this designer and they don't know what a design program looks like, right? Because they're coming to you for designs so that you're able to do this. We're going to go back to design mode so we can see everything else on here. But yeah, makes it makes it so super easy and cool to uh, to, to be able to do this stuff. So uh, let's just select this here. Say we want this paint swirls in here just like that. Now, if we want the whole cup filled, uh, let's just delete, we could do, delete this guy out. So we'll just click delete and we could select everything. So we're just gonna, we'll delete this out here because they're all, all of those different shapes that I was talking about. Let's make the entire thing paint swirled. And so there's our paint swirl. Like I was talking about, there is your inks right up here at the top. So say we did want to change this to kind of more of a Let's say it's wine. So let's go to like reds. So we'll go with a soft pink for a rosé. And we'll grab this one and we'll change this to maybe more of a, a burgundy or a merlot. And then we'll grab more of a standard red for a cabernet. I don't really know my wines. Does it sound like I know my wines? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? But just like that, you could see how easily we just changed all of those colors in there and all uh, all of that super editable. So now we're running with a uh, four color screen print, which the black is still hanging out somewhere in there. But we could always just grab this black and change it to another color in there. So now we're only running with a three color screen print uh, as we see fit. But say we did want to add an outline because this shape, maybe. Uh, so like, let's say we're running on a midnight blue. So that's what I did. Apparel color, you could always select the background color right here. So we'll click on this. We just selected midnight blue for our navy color. And we've got this. So say we want this all outlined in this lighter pink color. Let's go to outline. 
We'll add it. A touching outline is going to add that touching outline. And now it's this gray color. So let's select this lighter pink that we have in use. And just like that. Now, if you say, eh, that outline's a little too thick for me, that's perfect. You, all I did was go back and click on outline right here. And then you could make this smaller. So you can make it as thin as you want or as thick as you want. So if you want it really chunky, just like that, we could chunk it up. Also, if you want to remove it at any time, click back into the menu outline one applied and remove it. And you're all set. And that is it. So even here, if you wanted to add distressing on this as well, you can add distressing to it too. So it's going to knock out those areas. Uh, and you could you could double up, triple up any of these effects. Uh, say you even wanted to add a separated outline. So a separated outline is more used for kind of athletic stuff. But you could see this white outline, let's change to no ink. So that's just going to be knockout to the fabric color. And then this one that's gray, let's change this over to the soft pink. And so you can make all of these cool effects all right here in Easy View Online Designer. That's what I'm talking about. Super powerful stuff here, guys, uh, that you could use. So uh, let's let's go back and let's say let's clear this outline, clear the distressing. I'm going to clear the outline. So remove this outline, remove this outline as it added to. Uh, and let's even clear the pattern. So now we just go back to our regular shape that we colored in. But if we go down here, so there are print method, screen print, goof proof. I just want to show you before we change our print method, this these uh, here are all of the screen printed patterns that we could use. So you can see there is quite a few in here. Now, all of these are completely customizable, that tie dye pattern that I was talking about. So you could pull up all of these and these are customizable based on the color of what you want. So like I was saying, if you just want to make this a two color, we'll grab this color in the middle and knock it out. And so it's just a two color tie dye. Maybe add an outline in that yellow color, let's say. And always, when you have colors in use, so you don't have to go searching for them in this full list, they're always right here in this panel. Makes it really super cool. And if you ever needed a, a true custom Pantone match, just let us know. And it's just, uh, I think, $25 per order. Uh, and we'll mix that up custom for you. So let's just decrease this outline size a little bit and make it a little bit more dainty like a wine glass. And bam. We're all set and that one's good to go. Uh, so yeah, so really cool stuff. So that was just all of these patterns that are screen printed. I do wanna switch on over. We'll clear the pattern and I wanna clear the outline. And we'll use this same image or the same clip art here and we'll switch our print method over to full color and ultra color max. So whether you're using ultra color max or um, Stretch Litho Matte is what Ultra Color Soft used to be called, or the Ultra Color Pro that's going to be coming in here soon. Uh, this is going to be the same options that you'll have. So as you go in here and look at the patterns, whoa, they are all different now. You can pick these gradients, this water pattern. Now these you cannot change the color of because they are all set with all these gradients. There's way too many variances in there uh, to change the pattern. But that Galaxy one that I was talking about, where is this one at? Here's like a real true tie-dye, like a photorealistic tie-dye. You could never get that with screen printing, uh, maybe with a whole bunch of simulated prints. But I mean, then we're eroding any profitability and who's got money for that? This one here that I was talking about, the outer space looks so super cool. Let's put this on like a Carolina blue shirt or something. Yeah, that's far out, man. Far out wines. And then just like we were talking about, you could add your text. Let's just say this text is far out wines. And wines to its second level. We'll align it all the left. You see all this these capabilities in here, even letter spacing and line spacing. So you want to tuck these in tighter. Let's change the font over to something cool, something blocky here. So here we got that. Uh, let me adjust my view here a little bit. We'll grab our hand guy and move this around. So say we're building the logo for a customer right here. Now we've got it. We could add the pattern here to it. So we'll scroll down to the bottom of this edit menu where our pattern is. And we'll grab uh, this outer space pattern as well. And it continues that pattern in there, makes it look so super cool. And let's just, for added oomph, let's throw an outline on it as well. So a touching outline. And because we don't have to worry about color counts in, in uh, boosting the price of our uh, order here, that we could use any colors we want. So we'll add a different colored outline, a white outline, and say this is going on maybe a mid-blue shirt or something like that. Add another outline here. And you can see how easy all this stuff really comes together. Whoop. Let's go our outline and we'll change this to white. There we go. 
And so how easy this is to build this stuff and put it all together. Now we could even change this to like a midnight blue. Everything's outlined in white. Or even if we don't want that outline, we could remove it. We could go back through and do all the stuff regardless of what we want. Uh, or, you know, it, it's just so super powerful and what you could do. Um, let's see. Ken says, I've noticed that some of the patterns do not allow you to change the colors, even some that are customizable in the stalls patterns. Are they going to be updated to allow for customization? Uh, that is the difference between the full color and the... Um, and the uh, screen printed patterns. So the full color patterns are locked in there um, and the adjustable screen printed patterns, you could change the colors. So some of them are not editable um, and there are no immediate plans to allow them to be editable uh, in there. Uh, but if you ever did say want to edit those patterns, uh, you could always select it as screen print first, change the patterns and then switch it back on over to the uh, to the additional patterns. So like this one, I mean, like some of these down here. So like the, where was that one that we were using before? The paint swirls. So even though we do have a uh, full color transfer type selected, this is one of the editable patterns so that we could go in there and still change the colors just like we did last time. But now with a full color transfer, the more colors that we're adding, does not mean we are uh, increasing the cost. All I did was just go back in there and change that to be a little bit more uh, more drastic of a change between those blue. So just like that, we have our design ready to go. We could size this up. We don't need 18 inches, woof. So let's say that's five inches wide, and then we're all set. You put your quantity down here at the bottom, and you're all set, good to go. Um, we could even zoom in here if we wanted to. Too. And then one great thing about Easy View is the ability to mock up. I don't have any uh, uploads, but if you wanted to upload your own, so if you just take a picture of the shirt that you have, you could upload it. Or if you don't, you could grab, say, a Gildan 5000 right here. Uh, we'll say we'll switch it over to a Heather Gray. Let's switch it over to like that blue that we were looking at. Ooh, with that being blue, that might not work out that best. But let's just say here, we'll remove the watermark and position that one right up on the chest and then you're you're set you're ready to go let's switch this back over to gray to see if that shows up a little bit better see this is why we put outlines on things friends this is why we do that but you could use this now and if we go back in our mock-up menu we could even download this if you want to put your own watermark on it and have your own business name let's say it's dave's prints today you put your own watermark on it so your customer is not going to send it over to Custom Ink or somebody else and steal the job. Or if you want to use it as a product photo or show it off on social media, you could just download it. So that's just using the full apparel catalog that's in here. So like if you say you want a next level 3600, one of my favorite blanks, just type in 3600 and uh, it'll load in right here. Next level 3600. And we'll use the Heather Gray pattern or Heather Gray fabric as well. And just like this, you're all set. You're good to go. And then download this, send it to your customer, and you are ready to go. That's it. How easy it is truly to use Easy View Online Designer. Um, currently, Tony, there is no way to do the backs of shirts for demos. Uh, they're not preloaded in there. But if you take a picture of the back of a shirt, you absolutely could do it um, and, and be able to, uh, to, to mock up the back of a shirt. To wrap up our presentation today here, uh, I do just want to let you know, if you enjoy these webinars uh, that we do, we do a live on-camera evening edition with a press-along kit. So it's just $45 for this kit. Uh, we've been doing these for almost a year now. Um, live guided events. Stephanie uh, guides you through all of this. Just bring your favorite beverage. That's why we call it Toast to Transfers. Um, and then right here you get a tote bag now this one is like super value packed i don't think we've ever put so much in one kit uh like this one but we have a tote bag you get a tote bag you get that application kit placement ruler you get a mouse pad for raising the print area on stuff like this tote bag that has super thick seams and those straps are like a quarter of an inch thick canvas it's a really super deluxe tote but could be challenging to apply transfers to. So the mouse pad's gonna help you do that. This awesome Bella Canvas sleeveless tank. Uh, and then for the dads, we've got uh, Father's Day coming up. We're gonna give you a can cooler and a apron and 
two different sets of screen printed uh, screen printed transfers. So uh, really, really awesome, super value packed. This event is at 7 p.m. on May 26th. If you want to, to just join, you could just join uh, and just watch. But we really encourage uh, picking up the kit and pressing along with us, especially if you're not confident, say, printing on aprons or you've never printed on a tote bag before and you want to press along with us. And then you could use this as an example to pitch to your customers or for $45, you get all of this free swag that you could keep for yourself. Uh, we have them available in a ton of different sizes, but it is super limited quantity. So we uh, we say you guys got to get. Yes, uh, Trisha. Mousepad really helps with doing left chests on button down shirts because you could avoid those buttons, especially the heat sensitive ones. Or if you're printing on, say, onesies that have the plastic buttons that the second they hit heat, they just melt. Um, yeah, you could avoid all of that. All of that completely avoidable uh, when you use a mouse pad to raise the printing area. So it is just really, really cool to use. Um, and you get all of the stuff all with one kit. So uh, Mike tossed a link in there. You could see the Toast to Transfers kit. If you want to pick one up, join us on the evening of May 26th. Uh, that one, we are 100% on video. No slides here. Uh, we might jump into a little bit of screen cap recording uh, if you want to see kind of an easy view if there's any questions. Uh, but really, we have all of that built to help you guys out. We got a Facebook Live, I think, coming up next week uh, that Steph does on Thursdays at 1 p.m. I do YouTube Lives as well, so it's kind of like an Ask Me Anything free for all Friday. If you guys have any questions that didn't get answered here, Patty's melted a few onesie buttons. I've been there, too. <laughs> I think that's the the ritual of the, the <laughs> joining the cult of heat printing. You have to melt some buttons sometimes. <laughs> that's how you get into it. But uh, yeah, we are built here to help you guys out uh, at, with Toast to Transfers, our Facebook Live, our YouTube Live. Just stay in touch with us on social media. And like that, like I mentioned, that D Easy Prints Dealers uh, uh, Facebook group where we're all helping people. That's a huge community. Alan, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Um, uh, yes. Uh, Dave, could you show how to bring up a layout? Yeah. Before we sign off here, um, let me pop the screen sharing back on back into easy view where we left off. So uh, here, let me just go to a whole brand new easy view session. So new, yes, uh, go back to the getting started menu to pull up a layout, any of our layouts, just click on add layout here on the side, add clip art, adds clip art, and add layout adds any of these customizable layouts. So how I pulled up this racing layout and all of these layouts that you pull up when you click add layout, and you could search here too. So like, say I did want a race one, you can see it pulled up here. There's a whole bunch of, I mean, even 5Ks, but motorsports, anything in here, and you'll see this one, you just click on it, it adds it into the catalog. Uh, and say you just wanted uh, the 24 and this, you don't want this big text up top, you could just click on it and click delete. So all of this you could delete on out. If you don't like this 24 and want to make it like a super bigger bulky font, sure thing. You could change all of this and then even changing the colors here too, just like how we change colors of the patterns. Like you want to make this a blue in the background or maybe a checkered flag should stay black and we'll make the 24 blue here. Um, We'll grab it as a cyan or something. We'll grab it. And you want to change this to the name. Just those double clicks. It's so easy to use here. Ape Sports. You resize them, arrange them, move them all around. Uh, really, the power is in your hands on these. Uh, awesome. Awesome. I'm very happy to help um, with you guys uh, here with, you know, anything Transfer Express, anything heat printing related, uh, I want to be able to help you out. Uh, I want to be able to lift your business up uh, and make this year the best year ever. Um, because truly, uh, I it, it's so easy to use heat, print, heat printed transfers. Uh, I mean, even vinyl, uh, the screen printed transfers give you that same, that plastisol ink. So it looks, feels, washes and wears just like a screen print. Um, and yeah, we are here for you guys. So any questions, um, uh, any questions, always reach out, info at transferexpress.com. You could hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, leave comments on our YouTube videos. Um, we answer those every single day. Um, you could call us 1-800-622-2280 and talk to uh, the great customer service people that we have here at Transfer Express. All of our videos and previous webinars are on the website, transferexpress.com slash webinars. Uh, you could visit us, transferexpress.com, right where we were playing with Easy View Online Design. Designer, it's absolutely free to be able to use EasyView Online Designer at transferexpress.com. All you have to do is sign up for an account. 
uh, visit us at trade shows, all those trade shows that we had that I mentioned coming up. And of course, uh, if you head on over to transferexpress.com slash events uh, or scroll all the way down to the footer um, and click in there. Um, and then, yeah, connect with us on social media. Watch us on YouTube. Um, yes, Trisha. So look at that. You've been with us for a really long time and you didn't know that you could take certain things off. It's these webinars that we just, you know, there's so many complex little bits and pieces and I am learning new stuff every single day too because our developers sometimes don't tell us <laughs> what they're adding in and we have to go discover it ourselves and it's so cool to see all of these features. We love the whole team here from developers to customer service. Wendy shouting out the awesome customer service and that's what we are. We're built here to help you guys out. Um, and yeah, I just want to, I'm going to go through and make sure that we don't see anything in here. Um, Kathy Taylor, there you are. I like that you can now save to different files in EV. Yes, yeah, so that is a really cool feature that we released with a new online designer uh, that you could like kind of make your own little buckets and folders and save things custom to each one, which just makes it so super easy if you're like working with a specific school district or a sports team that you could save everything right in there and have it all categorized instead of having to go through and scroll through years and years of orders, you could save it all to once. So it's really, really cool in there. Uh, Jenna, thank you for coming in. Me and Mike, uh, I will say on Mike's behalf that we are very happy that you joined us here today. Um, and we absolutely love helping you guys out. Um, Patricia, buttons and patches, that is a, a deep uh, conversation that we could have for the next time. <laughs> um, but I know that they just put, I think Jennifer Johnson just did an awesome video over on Stalls TV. So that's Stalls' YouTube channel with the patent, with the, the custom patches. Um, Trisha, thank you very much for the A+. Um, but yes, thank you guys. Go out there, play with EasyView Online Designer uh, and, and crush it this year. You guys got it. The apparel industry is growing at such a rapid pace. And you guys just being here, listening to this information, trying to better yourself and your t-shirt business absolutely floors me away. The amount of dedication to stay here for even just an hour to to learn uh, how you could help your own business is just absolutely awesome. I am happy to be a small part of it, but it's all you guys. You're going to crush it this year. You have the success ready to go. The blueprint is laid out. All you have to do is hit it. And to you guys already out there crushing it, keep crushing it. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing, guys.